Okay, our next topic, it's going to be normal. So what we have here is one object and then we have here another. And basically this is just a plain surface. And the difference between the two is that we can see here this black area. And if we reverse it, then we'll see all the black area and then here our regular polygon. So bas basically what's happening is that this polygon right here, so if I turn the wireframe on, we can see that it's actually reversed, means that this face is looking downwards. So uh, to clarify that even more, we can go to display polygons and then enable face normals. And then you will see this little lines here. And we can also go to polygons and then a normal size just to increase that a bit more so that we can see a bit more clearly. So basically what is happening here is that our regular normals painted gray are pointing in one direction and the black one here is pointing in the other. So basically it's just pointing in the direction wherever the gray area is and whatever is black that just means that we have reverse normals. So what does that mean exactly for us? So let's say that I select this area and I select the extrusion and I want to extrude this. You will see what is what it's happening. Actually, what I can do is just uh, disable the normals for now. It's uh, maybe a bit distracting here. So let me just go to normal size, uh, not normal size, just uh, display polygons and face normals. All right. so. Uh, let's now select this and I'm going to select extrude and I'm going to extrude this. So basically what's happening is that the extrusion happens in the same direction that normals was point, were pointing. So by that logic here we should be able to see the same thing except that now again we're going to see the direction of this normal which was pointing down. It was also extruded in that direction in which that normal was pointing. So basically, uh, in the direction of normals, we are going to do our operation. So whatever you see, for example, that you have black area like that, that just means that that currently normal is reversed, meaning that it's pointing downwards instead that all normals are pointing in the same direction. So what we just need to make sure is that our face normals are all pointing in the same direction, meaning that this one should also point up. So we just need to select this face and go to Mesh Display Reverse. Alternatively, we have the same operation here on Shift, right click, Face Normals, and then Reverse Normals. There are a couple of more options here, so I'm just uh, go a couple of back. There are a couple of more options here, which are just selected faces, meaning that the faces that we selected, and uh, selected uh, faces then extract or all faces in the shell. So. So that just means if I hit apply, then it will then uh, do this. And maybe this is uh, what we do not want to do. So I will just reset the settings and keep it on default. Alternatively, also what you can do is if you have this situation, for example, you don't want to go one by one. Let's say that you have multiple. What you need to do is just select the object and then go to mesh display conform. This will then properly organize your normals. And then all of them are facing in the same direction. We don't have any more these greens line pointing downwards. And basically, uh, this is uh, when we talk about face normals. Let's now take a look into vertex normal. So what vertex normal uh, does, basically what they do is they will impact how your shading performs. So what you see here in the scene is that I reverse the shading for, let's say, typical objects. So for example, if we load a cube here into the scene, you will see that our typical cube looks like this. In comparison, this one kind of has this strange shading that it looks sort of like very, very smooth and depending on the angle that you look. So this is not, let's say, the proper shading maybe that we want to have for a cube. Or let's say here for the sphere, you see that this sphere has very, very hard edges and we do not see that same smooth sphere that we see here which is made by default. So in comparison, which we can just put one next to each other and then we will see the difference. So basically what's happening is that both of these spheres have the same number of polygons and the only thing that is different is how the vertex normals are aligned. So again, to see that even more clear, we can go to display polygons and then enable this time vertex normals. And also what we can enable is, let me go to 
polygons and again normal size and I'll just increase the size a bit. So if I now select both of them, you will see that uh, their normals are very much different. So what appears here is that from one point we have one normal pointing out and what appears here is that from one point we have four normals coming out. So this is now the difference between the two. So we now we can uh, safely, safely say that uh, the normals will affect the shading of our surface. So to check that even more, we can focus, let's say, maybe on the cylinder. And so, for example, what we have here is the same situation where we have one vertex and what it appears to be two normals coming out of one vertex. And so let me just quickly also talk about what is happening here. So if we go to mesh display, we have here hardened edge, we have softened edge, and then we have soft and hardened edges with this little checkbox, which I'm gonna just reset real quick and simply close. So basically, let's say if you're coming from Cinema 4D, this is going to be your fong. So depending on the fong angle, we just now can manipulate, will our normals uh, create a hard shading or smooth shading? So for example, if we do not wanna have this hard shading here, we just need to go to mesh display and select soften edge. And you will see that the moment I select soften edge that these normals will change. So let's go to soften edge. And now you see that these normals look very much different now, but also we get the smooth shading on our object. And if we check a bit more deeper, so I'm just going to select again and go to Harden Edge. And now we will get this hard edge back and then we'll see that we'll have these two normals coming from one point. But if you go to right click and select Vertex Faith, you will see a breakdown view of each polygon. And what it appears to be that one uh, vertex has two uh, normals, it actually comes to this that each polygon has its own uh, vertices and those vertices weren't combined into one point. Actually, all these points, when I just selected into one point, so let's go to vertex mode, you see what is happening. They just have it in the same space, but actually when you break the view, then you can see what is happening. So to see it even more clear, what you can do again, select these points individually and then assign specific shading to these points. So for example, I can also select all of these points and come to mesh display and select, let, let's say, soften edge. And then you will see what is gonna happen. So basically what we have here is that these normals are sort of perpendicular on this 90 degree angle to this face. And they're more like even the part. So that uh, direction that they look at so this one is looking here this one is looking here this direction is creating this hard edge if it would to soften it you would see that these normals will sort of average themselves out they would be more closer together so if you go to soften edge now you see what's happening that these two normals are now more closer together than let's say these here so if you go to object mode now you will see that this area is much more smoother so it just basically, it appears, it's just illusion of the smoothness here, even though that we have very low poly uh, mesh here. So if I do the same thing for everything, I can go to mesh display and then soften edge. Alternatively, have the same operation on shift, right click, soften harden edges, and then soften or harden, or soften harden with a checkbox. And that just simply means that you can set the angle here manually. So let's say 10 or let's say uh, 90 and then depending on the angle. So if I hit, let's say 10, you will see that we will get hard edges back and you can see that by direction of the normals. And if I hit, let's say 90 or even 45, so let's try 45 and hit apply. And then we'll now see that our normals are again smoothened. Alternatively, also what you can do is a lot of manual work if necessary. So you can come in here and let's say select uh, these two points and then you can go to mesh display and average. So for example, if that won't work, uh, on uh, smooth because with averaging you got smooth results so what we can do is go to vertex face and let's say go to set to face and set to face will just set to uh, this face and you will get then that hard edge like so 
So now we have smooth transition with a hard edge. The only difference now that you maybe notice here, maybe, okay, I can show you with the different examples. So let's go to uh, hard edge. So I'll just harden everything here. And let's go to vertex face. And I'm going to select these two. And what I'm going to do is go to average. So I'm going to average these normals, what, and that will give me a smooth result. The only difference here is that you will see that these average normals, which are again uh, smooth shading, will be yellow while these are green. So basically this just means that these normals are currently locked. And you will also have this option here to lock or unlock normals. And that simply means that, for example, if I'm a, let's say that I want to move this point. You see what is happening to these normals here, that no, these normals will behave depending on where that point goes. And you see that this one will behave too. So basically just it's going to move depending on the direction of our points, which will determine the shading, while this one is going to be fixed. So regarding of your movement, you're not going to lose shading here. So for you see that whatever I do here, it will stay still. And that just simply means that this normal is locked. So let me just go a couple of steps back. All right, so let's see a couple of more examples. For example, um, let's disable the view for now. I just want to see where, I just want to also mention where we will encounter this. So let me just go to um, vertex normals off. And let me just go and convert it into soft edges. And for example, let's add here a loop. So let's say I have one here and let's have one here. And what I want to have is I want to have edge loop here in the middle. And let's say I want to bevel this. So sometimes beveling will also change the direction of your face normal. So for example, here you see that I did bevel. And what happened is that we lost some of the normals here so you can check also now what's happening if you go to display polygon and then vertex normal so you see here that here we have soften normals the soften edges and that here we have hardened edges so we can go now to here vertex face and select these and let's say select these and let's go to mesh display and then average and then you can get these normals back or alternatively like Anytime what we can do is let me just again display polygons and normal vertex normals, turn it off. So what we can do is just go and apply soften edge or simply soften harden and give it an angle and that will even it all out. Same thing it will happen, for example, if we go to let's say bridge. So I want to bridge this. That bridge will also break in that smoothness and basically will give you the different normals here on the surface. So again, to even those out, we'll just select the object and then go to soften harden and then soften or simply soften harden with an angle like that. So in some situations, we're going to use soften harden and then either 45 degree angle or 30 degree angle. So in this case, 30 degree angle didn't do much. It just helped, let's say, clean up the area. But now we get hardened edges. So maybe we want soft and hardened. And let's try 45. Uh, let's try 45. And now this will give us a softer edges here. Sometimes in some situations, maybe you want to have, let's say, harder edge on specific areas. Just so that, let's say, um, let's do an example. So let me just scale this here and uh, scale this here as well. In some situations like this, uh, maybe you want to have hardened edge without adding extra loops like this. So that, again, it will just give you an illusion. This is not, we're not talking about subdivision preview. We're talking about our regular uh, view that without adding extra loops or extra edges that we are going to get uh, let's say this look that th this edge is breaking. So this is with uh, hard edges on specific areas, because if we now apply, let's say a soft an edge, it will look maybe a bit too soft. And then we can just come here and apply, let's say a hardened edge, and then we'll get this as a result. So again, this is just an example, because in some situations, maybe you would like to have something like that. 
So yeah, uh, more or less this is it regarding normals for now. And thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.